Hi, welcome back to the Kitos YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about something that has been keeping us busy ever since we released this blog a few weeks ago about how we are still finding thousands of Azure domains vulnerable to subdomain takeover. I'm going to do a quick overview of how it works, what Microsoft tried to do to stop it and how you're still vulnerable to it. And as always, you can always go to our portal, portal.easymonitor.io and check for free if you're uh, protected or not. Uh, we don't even ask for any information or anything. You just enter here your URL and you can check. And if you're vulnerable, it will tell you, hey, you're vulnerable, contact Ketos. But also, I just want to kind of explain how it actually works and what was it, what's the problem. So basically how it works is you create a website, you use that website in Azure for a while. It might be a promotional, it might be an online shop or something. Then you delete that website, but you forget to delete the DNS entry to it. What can happen is a bad guy comes up, grabs that same website and impersonates you and uses it for phishing campaigns or anything. And since it's a real domain, password managers will put in the password, your customers or your employees will fall for it because it's a real domain. So anything you teach them about phishing and everything, it'll pass all those checks. So today I'm just gonna do a quick overview of how that works and kind of what Microsoft has done and how that doesn't really solve the problem. In here, I have kind of like a sample website that I have set up. Um, basically it's in the Azure website and it's just sample.codingflamingo.com. And uh, the main difference here, so Azure kind of solved, solved it if you're push it, pointing straight into the web application. If you do that and you try to add a new domain so like, I'm just gonna go here and try to add a new domain, like something random. You will see that it asks for the C name, that that's kind of like the, the domain vulnerability, but then they added this text that you have to add with this random value. And that's kind of like stops you from doing it with a web application. But unfortunately, uh, most people don't point straight to the web application because you might want re geo redundancy. So your customers in Europe doesn't have to come to the US version of your site. So you create a traffic manager. And in that case, your CNAME is pointing to the traffic manager, not to the Azure web app. So let's say you delete your website, uh, you're not using it anymore, and you forgot to go back to your DNS management and delete that entry. Now, as anybody that um, creates that traffic manager can point it, yes, it cannot point it to an Azure web application, but it can point it to a IAS server and then get a certificate with Let's Encrypt or uh, point it to a Kubernetes cluster and get a certificate with any other DNS validation tool. So uh, this is still vulnerable. We're still finding thousands of vulnerabilities. So now you know what the problem is. Make sure that all your DNS are still being used. You don't have any dangling DNS that could be used by a bad actor. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, I'm gonna link the blog post down below as well as our portal. And also feel free to contact us. We're happy to tell you a little bit more about it. Thank you so much and have a great day.